Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's Carrie here from Carrie Counts Cash. Hope everybody's doing awesome. This video is going to be my first July paycheck cash stuffing. Um, it's a gorgeous Friday afternoon here. You can hear the birds singing. It's supposed to start raining at some point, but um, hasn't done that so far. So if I'm midway through the video and it starts to thunder, I apologize, but that's where we're at. Um, this video, we're going to stuff just over $2,200. We do have a little bit extra that we're going to talk about when we get into the thick of things. And this video is posted about one day late, but that's because my cash swap bill for June just posted a couple days ago. So I wanted to give that some breathing room. If you haven't checked that out, please go do that. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. I'm just about 170 subscribers right now, so I am like I can feel the 200 mark. It's close, um, but I'm still blown away by the fact that that many of you people keep coming back for more torturous videos. So let's start out with my bill binder. Now we're gonna start with car payment as usual. We're gonna put 400. Oh geez, we're gonna put $215 here. I'm getting ahead of myself. $430 is what we're gonna end up with when we're all set here. You guys never know to expect much out of me, so that's where we are at. So we have 100, 200, 300, 4, 410, 420, 25, 30. $430 in car payment. And this will be due shortly. Now I have developed a filming schedule. I've written it all out in my planner. Whether I stick to it or not is a whole different story, but we will see. We're gonna try and strictly stick to the weekly check-ins and do cash on stuffing while we do that. So you should see me on stuff this. Usually I do that off cam, but we're gonna try and move forward and do it pro properly for a cash budgeting channel because don't I just love to do um, everything to the contrary. So for cell phone, we're gonna do $80. And this should be 160. 51, 20, 40, 50, 60, yep. Credit card, now the balance on this is should be $5 and a couple cents. Um, we're gonna stuff the five. I have started to do most of my sinking funds with my credit card. So by that, I mean I'll pay on my visa and then I'll unstuff and repay it back. So this is just a little bit extra that I didn't pull from one of the envelopes. I don't know what this $5 was, but it doesn't matter in the scheme of things. It's only $5, so that's a little bit of a buffer here that we will use and move forward. So credit line is gonna get a whopping $315 this week. Now it's sitting pretty at 9,400. What we wanna do is I wanna pay off $500 worth of that on this month payment so that I can get it to 8900 because if it's under the 9k mark I like I would be so 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 enthused so that's what we're aiming to do I can't promise it's gonna happen but where this paycheck was a really good pay I thought I'd stuff a big portion of that five hundred dollars here so three hundred three ten three fifteen and we will just, I guess, see where that takes us. If we don't hit it, that's okay. It's lofty goals, but you know, you gotta have a goal to make progress. DRO is my phone leasing program. This is due not this October, but the next. It's 560, we're gonna add $5. And we have one, two, 220, 240, 245, 250. So we are almost halfway there. Next is insurance. We just paid this. And I think I said it, but my I just got my new insurance quotes and actually it's pretty much staying exactly the same, which is great. So 100, 120, 
loan interest. So we stuff $100 here pretty consistently. We're gonna put $50 away this week. Last month it cost me $66.06 and the month before was like 49 or 46 something. So this is going down from the 90s where we used to end up putting a lot of money away for interest payments. So probably after we get July's bill and we kind of see where we are, if it's down, we will bring this amount down. But for now, we're gonna leave it at 100 a month still. Power bill is going to get 105, 105. And I said in July, the new numbers usually come out for like yearly equalized payments. I haven't seen it yet. Um, but we're still moving ahead with business as usual. So 100, 200, 5, 10, 210 in power bill. And it's 202, but we like to pay the extra $8 for a buffer. Property tax is a lot thinner since you guys last saw this envelope if you didn't see my bill exchange. But we have 1K in the bank and we have 115 here. That's exactly how much we're gonna add. Another $115. And we're moving along nicely for this one. It's not due until like April, May of 23. So we've got lots of time. We have 100, 200, 210, 220, 25, 30, 230, plus 1,000 in the bank. 1230 for a $3,000 goal. Subscriptions. We did add a Plum Plus membership. So that is for a giant bookstore here in Canada. It's Chapters Indigo. This cost me $45 per year. We have paid it for this year and we are saving up for 2023. And then we have iCloud and Spotify. I'm going to up my subscription budget per month to $30, so we're gonna stuff 15 here. And that should allow me to put away my money for the Plum membership fairly quickly. And then we can always reevaluate. TV internet is going to get $80. So it's already got 80. Let's do the 20, the 10, and the 50 for 80. So here we have 50, 1, 20, 40, 50, 60. And finally, utilities, which is basically our water payment. I pay this twice a year. We're fully funded for the next payment in September. So we're working on next year, which is also fabulous. So we have 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 215. It feels nice to be ahead of the game for once in my life. Because as you're going to find out as we chat through the rest of this video, things are kind of up in the air right now with certain finances. Now, my wallet, I did kind of switch things around since you probably saw them last. I had miscellaneous, household, and Polaris in here. Now, they were basically sinking funds, but I just I spent out of them a lot, so they, I kept them in my wallet. But where I'm moving forward, trying to pay with my visa and then paying it back, I said, well, I'm just going to put those where they belong in my sinking funds envelopes. So in here... We have slimmed it down to a handful, which is much better because my wallet does get fairly thick. So, beauty. I just got my nails did yesterday. They're very bright and sunny. It's quite the color, but honestly, I love it. I needed something a little bit perkier in my life right now. Um, it's been a busy two weeks. Um... My aunt had a stroke last week and we didn't think she was gonna make it through, but she did, thank goodness. She ended up getting life flighted at one point and it was like, that was really hectic. Um, and then she just got home, I think two days ago, but she had a major allergic reaction to one of the meds they'd given her after her stroke. And it's just like, it's been hectic and I have a lot of medical appointments and things coming up and motor vehicle inspections and just unexpected stuff so honestly this little bit of sunshine in my life was so 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 needed 
So we added, oops, that's not right. I wanted a five. 50, 75. That's what happens when I gab, gab, gab. You're all used to it by now, but still. Now, this is the elephant in the room. Guys, are you proud of me or what? I know it doesn't seem like a major achievement to a lot of you watching this video, but for me to have money left and eating out, it's like the world is ending. So we have $10 here. What I'm gonna do is, I don't have a lot of like space on camera right now, but I'm gonna set it to the side for my $10 bill challenge um, because that's just awesome progress. So I'm really pumped to see that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put $75 in here this time. I kind of feel like I wanna order pizza, but I don't know if I'm going to end up actually following through. I will probably end up getting something out tonight. I just finished my work stretch. I'm on vacation. I have my days off next week. Um, so it'll be a bit longer and I don't know if I'm gonna go up to my parents or not, but we're just kind of flubbing around the house and making do with what we have, but I feel like I wanna eat out. So we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 75. And $75 may seem like a lot to a lot of people, but considering when I first started cash stuffing, realized I was spending like minimum 250 on takeout a month, and now I'm down to like 150. That's awesome. There was even one month that I had spent $500 on bloody takeout. Okay, fun. I know like the envelopes are hard to see in the light without anything in them, but fun has $70. We're gonna set these $5 bills aside for our $5 savings challenge. Um, and there's $60 left now. We did see Jurassic World and we're gonna try and go see where the crawdads sing on the next couple weeks. It doesn't come out till the 15th, but um, I don't know if I'll go opening week or not. Probably not. And I'm gonna go with a friend who also is a nurse who if you guys know what it's like with two nurses trying to make plans together, oh my god. So, in fun, we have $80 left. It's just, it's almost impossible. And it's not even that we're both nurses. Um, she's got a busy, busy, busy two-year-old boy. So, it's, it's hard. Now, gas. Gas, I looked like a damn fool because I just put my budget up to $200 every two weeks and I'm gonna keep doing that but I do have a fair amount of money left over as you can clearly see so we're gonna set this to the side we are gonna use this as we go on I will keep the hundred dollars here and grab another hundred dollar bills we're gonna keep stuffing for 200 we're gonna put these fives to the side um, just because gas did go down for Canada Day but not by much and I assume it's gonna go back up really quickly and next week I have to drive an hour into the city for a medical appointment. So I'm going to want to be safe rather than sorry and have this money. Now, one $65 tank of gas, I swear to God, took me two weeks, which is unheard of. I don't know how I managed it, but I did. But we're going to keep with the 200 for a while. And if we find that it's way too much, we can always drop that back. But... Again, safer rather than sorry. So, groceries. We do have money left in groceries too. We have $60. We're gonna set this aside for our $10 challenge and we are gonna stuff another 160 here. So there's that. We'll set this right here for now and then 20, 40, 60, 80, one. 110. So here we should have 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 210. My blank blank there for a minute, which was so embarrassing, but whatever. 210. I find 200 to 210 is just about perfect for groceries. I don't know what I did that I had the $50 left. I think when my aunt was in the cast in the hospital I made her a casserole and I had like most of the stuff I just needed to buy like Italian sausage um, and honestly that casserole feeds me for like days so even though I gave her a bunch I think that was the saving grace there okay and spending we have $10 left so this is also gonna come out 
and we're gonna put another $20 in. Now that $10 will go to our challenge as well. So this is it for our cash envelopes. Set that to the side. And what are we gonna do next? We're gonna do, let's do sinking funds now. We'll do savings last. Adventures is going to get $10. I love that we're just building this up, 50, 60, 70. Haven't had much time to do like day trips or anything lately, but that is okay. Budget and planner, we're gonna put $10 here as well. So it has 20, 40, 50, 55. Car maintenance. This one, guys, we got our motor, motor vehicle inspection done yesterday. That is due every two years in Canada. So I'm good until 2024. That cost me $50. I will unstuff that on my next video. I probably will film that tomorrow. I'm going to try and film like Saturday, Sunday, kind of the back through the rest of the week. Um, so we'll unstuff that tomorrow, but we are going to add $85 here. Now, bear with me because I know that sounds like a lot, but I have a reason for it. I, when I got my inspection done yesterday, he, the, I don't know, the, like the tech um, or the mechanic, I guess, came out and told me that he could pass my inspection this time, but my brake pads and my rotors were scraped down to the bare minimum, so I would need to replace those on the back. So they gave me a quote to replace those. Those are like almost $500 to do the work. So I was kind of not very happy about it, but it is what it is. I need brakes. I need a working vehicle. So I called today and I got them to order that stuff. So I'll have to go in and do that. Clearly I don't have $500 here. We're going to have to pull some money for our emergency fund, but it is what it is. So I'm going to stuff a little bit extra here. Um, and then whatever is left over after um, owing, at least on the brake pads, we'll have to pull from EF. So we have 100, 200, 250, 300, 320, 330, 35, 40, $340 in car maintenance. So, I mean, that's a good chunk. And the next thing we'll need to even think about is changing our tires to our winter ones in October. So we have some time to save up. Christmas is going to get a whopping $250. And why we're doing that is because I wanna fully fund this. This extra money that we just put in here came from the 100 mock envelope challenge that I was doing. If you saw any of my savings challenge videos, you might have seen me stuffing once in a blue moon money into envelopes that wasn't really for like the typical 100 envelope challenge it was more like if i had any extra rollover that wasn't a five or a ten i would stuff it in an envelope i wouldn't write down the amount of how much it was i just was collating those for the end of the year or whenever the challenge was over and then i'd open them and be like oh my god there's 50 bucks here there's 20 here whatever um but that wasn't working for me because i stuffed it so infrequently that it was really just money sitting around. I had $220 sitting in an envelope. So that was just pointless to me. So I stuffed it in Christmas, plus an extra like 30 bucks basically to get to my fully funded cap of 1K here. Now I don't know if I'm gonna need all of this money in Christmas because we might be just like drawing a name and putting a cap on how much we spend for one person instead of just everybody buying for everybody willy-nilly. So this might be absolutely nuts to have this amount of money, but we're gonna see how it goes. I don't really know the format yet. So for Christmas, we have one, two, three, four, five. 
six, seven, eight, eight fifty, nine, nine fifty, one thousand. And what I'm going to do is I know that I just did a bill swap. I'm gonna pull this money out when I fill my unstuffing and I'm gonna take it to the bank. So the next time you see my Christmas envelope, it will be empty probably just other than the one case left that'll be in there. Fireman's Lotto is fully funded at $102, $104. So we're not stuffing that. Usually my sinking funds, if I fully fund them, I might keep stuffing $5 a week. But this one where this will pay me for a whole year, I don't see the point in that. It's not really a lot of money. Um, it's not enough that I need to worry about it. Now, household was in my wallet. We're gonna start using that as a sinking fund like it was meant to be. We're gonna put $10 in here. This is for any like cleaners or any decor or anything that I just want around the house. Landscaping is for outside. We're gonna do $25 here. So landscaping has 100, 150, 170, 190, $95, $200. And medical has 260. We're going to add $5 for 200, 250, 260, 265. And we should be good for a while on this. Like in Canada, most of our healthcare stuff is free, like I've mentioned a few times um, for all of you people that watch from outside of Canada. So I shouldn't need this when I go to my appointment next week, but it is there. Miscellaneous, we're gonna add $10 to this, so $20 total. And new car, new car, we're gonna add 15. So for new car, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six, ten, six, twenty, six, twenty five, six, thirty in new car. And Polaris, this one is for, it used to be for everything like vet visits, food, litter, all of that. This is just for like treats and toys and things that he needs on a day-to-day -day basis, but not necessarily vet care. So he does have a fair amount of money here and I just bought, litter was on sale for like a 14 kg thing of litter. It was $13. I bought two of them and he has a fair amount of food. So he should be good here for a while. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 145. And special occasions is gonna get $5. I shouldn't have anything till minimum in October. So here we have 50, 70, 95. So lots of time to save for that. And wants, I normally put my spending roll over here, but where we had the $10 that went to the $10 savings challenge, we are not stuffing. Now, we will come back to the three sinking funds that I said that I was going to be starting up. They're new. I don't have the envelopes here yet. I know Neeks had sent some more. They are in the mail, but I just have not gotten them yet. So we're gonna do my savings challenges and then we're gonna come back to put the rest of the money away for that and I'll probably just set it aside in a random place because I don't have the envelopes yet. All right, so for cash savings, we're gonna add, we're only gonna do $5 this week, so 55. And I probably will take this back to the bank once it hits 100 for an even five in our TFSA. And then we will stuff the next $500 milestone completely until we're ready to take it back to the bank for a 1K slip here. Now, emergency fund, I'm gonna put $50 in here. And like I said, any extra from my breaks will have to be pulled from this, but that's what it's here for. I'm trying not to let myself be upset about it, even though it was really nice to make a lot of progress on this. So we have 1,000 in the bank. 
100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 600. Sixteen hundred dollars in our emergency fund, which is nothing to sniffle at. Savings challenges. I said if we had a decent pay, I might pick another number. I did pick one. I picked ninety-five. That's the highest number we had left for this one. We're gonna pull both of these stickies out. So $75 and 95, we'll set them right there for now. So let's do, um, we're gonna do, we'll do two fifties and what we'll do is take out $5 to make 95. So we just thin this out quite significantly. We don't count this in every video just in our sinkings and saving fund updates um, and our bill exchanges. So we're gonna leave that like that for right now. And then we're gonna do $75. So 20, 40, 60. Okay, so both of these are stuffed. Set those right there. And we will pick our numbers for next week at the end. So we'll come back to that too. We're gonna add 110 to our $5,000 savings challenge. 110. So we are gonna use the last $100 bill. And 10. $25 per week is gonna get $50. That's too much. I feel like my math is not working out here. We might have to do some exchanging, which I don't really wanna do. Let me do, all right, we'll do it. 20, 40, 45, 50. I feel like I've never put fives in here for the life of me, but it's gonna be what it is. And we just condensed this, so we actually, I'm tempted to do the Christmas money exchange, but we're not doing it. $5, this is getting quite thick, so what I think I'm gonna do is on my next probably monthly check-in, monthly closeout. I'm gonna take some of this money out and put it in a mason jar and then we'll restart again and then just count all of it at the end of the year. So here we're adding one, two, three, four, five dollar bills, which is phenomenal. And $10 challenge. We made some really good progress in this two week period because I don't normally have $30 for $10 bills to stuff in. So that was a really, really nice little addition that I did not expect to have. So that's it for that. I'm gonna set this to the side. We will come back to it because I'm gonna reach and grab the pineapple and take our numbers for next week for our challenges. So be right back. All right guys, we're gonna grab our numbers for our next savings challenges. Now I'm gonna apologize, there might be some missing footage. I don't know how much until I edit, but I just noticed that my phone had stopped recording. Bear with me, please. Y'all know technical stuff happens when you're recording on your phone. Okay, so. For next week, we probably don't want to stuff like a bazillion dollars. If we had a bazillion dollars, I would definitely stuff that. But let us see for our $3,000 savings challenge. We've got a 55. That's good. 
Um, we'll set that right there. And then let's find one for our 5K. And try not to look because I can see a lot of them. Oh, $100. $100.55. Oops. Plus the $50 savings challenge is a good chunk of change to put away next week. So I'm going to put this away and I will see you when the envelopes are restuffed. What we're going to do now is we're going to close this, put it off to the side, grab our handy dandy iPad and fill out our savings challenge trackers. Now you'll notice since the last time you saw this, it's a little bit different. My OCD took over okay. So I had to make them all the same color and I had to tidy them up. So for our $3,000 savings challenge, we stuffed $95 and $75. And we're going in order because it really bothered me not to. So 95 is the first one. And I believe this was the last like amount like this left. I think the next might be 85. It might even just be 80. Um, so then nextly, oh, nope, we've got a 90, I see. And then we're gonna do a 75, which this is the closest one to the top. Cause that's how we're living life now. We're not really all that wild, okay? Other than our coloring skills, like, jeez. So, okay, 75, we're making awesome progress on this one. Three, $5,000, not so much. But we're gonna fill out 110. This one's the closest to the top. But we're getting there. And this one, like, it takes a longer because you see, we've got amounts like 150, 135, 140. Like, it's just, it's a lot sometimes. Let's figure out what we want to do with the rest of this money here. Let's put all that to the side. So we have, how much do we have left? Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, one fifteen. Um, yeah. So we'll um, we'll make it work. So what we were gonna do is we were gonna stuff eighty five dollars in our new envelope entitled vet visits. So what I might do, guys, is instead of $85, I might just stuff $90 um, because our cash, our math isn't mathing, which is okay. It happens. So we'll stuff $90 here. So I'm going to set that one right there. Our next new envelope is going to be toiletries. Now, I found having it with household was just too much. I was like feeling a little bit overwhelmed with that, so I wanted a separate envelope. So we're gonna put $20 in toiletries. And then lastly, this $5 is gonna go to our new clothing envelope. I was kind of in denial that I needed this, but I discovered that I had really not much for like shorts or capris or something that fit this summer. So I said, I gotta have money set aside for clothes because I was really debating spending a couple hundred dollars on my emergency fund. But thankfully, I did manage to find some shorts and things tucked away in a back closet, which was lovely. So it was all fine in the end. But I do want to have this just in case. So this one's going to go to clothing. So we're just going to stick this all together. And when the envelopes come, I'll separate it all. You'll see it wonderfully rearranged in the next stuffing. So let me actually we'll do that right now we will tuck that away in our sinking funds binder right here in the front and i'll update those totals off cam i apologize if some of the footage from my savings challenges was missing i didn't realize until god knows how long after i'd gab for a bit but let's leave it there Bye.